Okay, so here we have a demonstration of the power that can be produced by a microbial fuel cell. The MFC in the background is powering this fan. So layered on nickel mesh um, with a Teflon coating. I believe. Well, it's Teflon coating. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it. And um, there's no separator on the back side of this. These are mesh collectors that are sticking up from the cathode. So the whole thing is wired together. And there's two cathodes, one on each side. All right. In the middle, we have this plate that holds the four brush anodes, which stick into the middle of the reactor. Right. Actually, if you look at the end, you can see the, yeah, the circular down. shape of the brushes. And uh, so the, all the anodes are connected together so that they function as a single unit. Cathodes are also wired together so they function as a single unit. And we have right now uh, a resistor box uh, setting a resistance between the anode and cathode, um, an external resistance of 500 ohms. Uh, these are the feed syringes. It's a lure lock connection, and um, so I can use both syringes to add inoculum or feed the reactor with acetate or other substrate, typically it's acetate. We also have these two reference electrodes. Um, one is used for the anode, and one is used for the cathode, so we can monitor the voltage independently and also measure the whole cell voltage. So we have three data channels collecting voltage simultaneously. Excellent. And there is some evaporation that occurs through the cathodes because they're permeable. Mm -hmm. So um, I also keep DI water in these when I'm not feeding it just so the reactor is filled as much as possible so there's as little headspace as possible for oxygen. And the internal volume is approximately two liters. So this is one of our scale-up projects and one that is intended to power a fan or a bank of lights so we can demonstrate the production of power.